Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Lectures in Lab Coats. I will be your lovely lecturing lab coated let's player for today. My name is Sparks, and today I'd like to talk to you about an elevator in the new snapshot. Uh, I'm really pleased with this simply because it is so compact, it uses such a small amount of materials for what it does, and it's actually fast enough to, for me to consider riding it. Watch this. Now, that's a lot faster than anything I've seen from an elevator before now. And it basically, the entire thing is powered by this redstone block as it rises up. Uh, you can see it sort of powering things as, as it goes. <coughs> Pardon me. Uh, yeah, so, I mean, it's very lag, lag free because it's only taking power from the elevator as it goes. Uh, it can also handle elevators starting from anywhere and more than one elevator at once, which is very useful. Um, the the one thing to bear in mind, this uh, this design is stackable. Uh, you do need some sort of unpushable block at the top, though, uh, which doesn't have to be very expensive. It can be a furnace or some obsidian or a chest or anything like that. Um, it, As I said, it is tileable. Uh, it's 3 by 3 by 2 and I will be including an MC Edit schematic of this tile uh, this stackable uh, form here in the description uh, and I'll also just be showing you how to build it because it's very simple. So uh, first of all you want sticky pistons facing straight like this to whatever height you want, we'll just do a, a short one and then regular pistons pointing straight up like that. Uh, okay, uh, the elevator has to start at this level here. Oh, we'll just put our furnace at the top. Stop it. Oop, messing up. Okay, so the elevator has to start here, obviously, because it needs to be pushed up, so it needs to be one higher than the first piston. Um, then you basically just do this. You take a redstone block here. Um, I'm just going to remove this for now so it doesn't go off before we're done. A repeater here, set to two ticks, so just right click it once. Um, that's just so that there's a slight different timing. So what happens here is when the redstone block appears here, power is sent over here, it powers this piston, and then this piston will be pushed, uh, <laughs> it powers this piston, this piston will be pushed forward, and because it's below this power supply here, it'll be pushed up, like so. Once the redstone block moves up, this is unpowered, causing the uh, the outwards piston to retract, and then two ticks later, this will pull it back. It has to be two ticks, otherwise the uh, upwards facing piston doesn't have enough time to retract before the other one tries to pull it back. Uh, then you basically just do the same thing, symmetrically opposite. So it's one level higher, but it's doing the same thing. Repeater set to two ticks, and now it should rise up one level more. There we go. That's basically the long and short of it. Uh, the next time you just tile it up one higher than it was before. Like so. And the same on the other side. So it's it's very resource friendly. I think it only takes about eight blocks, eight blocks um, per per rise, and quite fast as well. I mean, this is this is the sort of speed I'd be happy to actually include this somewhere in my Let's Play base, just because it's it's so neat. Uh, so yeah, thank you very much for watching. I hope the tutorial was uh, understandable. It's uh, quite a simple design, and that's I think the beauty of it. Uh, the world download, and as I said, the schematic file, uh, so that you can duplicate it like I did here. Uh, in MC Edit, should you wish to, will be available in the description for this video. Um, this is a series, so uh, you're welcome to subscribe if you want to see more things. And uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Um, I'm Sparks. Goodbye.